free brochure, call the Byrne Foundation or the Philadelphia Fire Department. Slaves to the Scalpel, tonight on Evening Magazine. Oh, hi. You know, we got a lot of Playboys on the show today, and I used to be a Playboy myself, but you should see these guys working today. It is unbelievable. Can I freshen you up here? Everything okay? You all right? I'm fine. Hey, Richard, how you doing? What'll it be, pal? What'll it be? What about a new life? What about a new childhood? I'm doomed. I'm dead. I have to... I'm... I don't know. Give me a hemlock spritzer, Will. I don't Richard, know. Richard, don't be so hard on yourself. There's a lot of women out there that are probably dying to meet you, just alone in this bar. Dying to meet me, you see? See how you mock me? At any moment you could mock me? Dying to meet me? I'll go back. What am I going to do? do -si do to the soundtrack from Fatal Attraction? I'm doomed. It's, it's never going to work out. Richard, just trust your heart. Open it up. Who knows? Maybe you'll meet somebody. You, you really think so? Ah, uh, you know. Hi. Yuck. <laughs> so, hi, uh, what do you say? Hi, what's your sign? What's my sign? Uh, you look good. Excuse me, M must I listen to this? Do I really care about your sign? What about my sign? M must you make my life a living single's hell? Aren't you listed in the who's who of torment? I don't know. Isn't she mocking me? Isn't this a nightmare? And yet, aren't I sort of at love at first sneer here? What do you, th I, I, you know, I like, what, what about two hemlocks for us? Two hemlocks, and two hemlocks for me too, Will. <laughs> If you're still wondering how to identify a playboy, we've done some research and come up with this little list right here. You know a guy is a playboy when he has a marriage license that says, your name here. <laughs> Don't make me beg, folks. You know he's a playboy when after sex, he smokes... <laughs> You know he's a playboy when after sex, he smokes a cigarette and a ham. <laughs> I was very optimistic, smoking ham, you know, smoked ham. You know he's a playboy when he has mirrors in his underwear. <laughs> All right, you know he's a playboy when he contains, when his closets contain more women's clothes than yours. <laughs> You know he's a playboy when he asks if you want to meet the little... <laughs> Skip that one. <laughs> no, no, you didn't laugh at the other ones. <laughs> you know he's a playboy when he asks your grandmother if she has a sister. <laughs> and finally, you know he's a playboy when his bed has an ejection seat. <laughs> anyway... Um, well, that's, that's a frightening intro. You're a great audience. Uh, it's a great desk. Do you like the desk? And once again, I get a splinter. The second time I do the show, the second splinter. No, it's great to be here. Uh, this Playboy business is a frightening intro. You know that I've been doomed for the last, you know, 30 years or so. Uh, I've been dating since pre prenatally. I, was, I had trouble. And, um, and plus, you know, it's a lot, there's a lot of pressure to have that kind of label. I mean, I, you know, I gotta tell you this. I, I saw myself naked for the first time. And, uh, which gives you some idea how much, how many women I've been with, okay? So, I, I went to Vegas and I was, I, look, I went on, I took my clothes off, you know. And I, and I had mirrors over the bed. I, I didn't know that, I forgot. And I looked up and I saw my view of me, or God's view, someone's view. And I looked like Flipper. I looked like Flipper. I couldn't believe it. I, can't, I still have these roles. Ever since the junior, I have these roles. I used to go shopping with my father, try to get those Playboy kind of outfits, you know, for the fall. Of course, I didn't walk around like Sammy Davis like this, but I, you know, and I'd see, you know, I want to get like the Beatles suit, that cut in, you know, that, that make you look thin. Yeah. But I had these rolls. I had these rolls, like little overhangs. You never you lose them. Love, love, hang love handles? Whatever they're called. I had them in the, uh, I was in an incubator, and I, I was uh, the only guy who had to go to an aerobics class in the incubator. I had these little rolls. <laughs> So I used to go shopping, and I'd see, like, these, uh, these suits, and the salesman would see me, and he'd go, there's a husky in the store, a husky. <laughs> taking down a husky hell. It was like a, and they had these mannequins who were eating, like, uh, hero sandwiches, and their, their pants were down. They were, one mannequin raped a mannequin in lingerie, a husky man. I had to go to a husky rape trial, the whole thing. All mannequins, all mannequins. 
<laughs> well, I don't know what to do. On Valentine's Day was a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I knew my, my relationship was over. I mean, I had my lawyer draft a Valentine to send to this woman, you know? <laughs> I knew things were going downhill. I got a, she sent me a chocolate hatchet. I wasn't thrilled about it. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the home game, that's what I got too, which has been fun, and uh, I don't know, so now I'm living alone again and with my turtles, I have little turtles. Little turtles, yeah. But a lot of them commit suicide, this is a sad, sad thing about turtles, you know the little... The little ones, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know you, I, first, the couple of them I put like number four on, number three, and then that's lead poisoning, boom, they're gone. <laughs> now I realize they want to kill themselves. I dropped a piece of lint from my cleaning, dry cleaning into the thing, and the guy hung himself immediately, right? <laughs> you know, so they die fast, yeah. you know. Well, that's a, well maybe it's the best bachelor life that you have being being single are you uh are you have all the domestic skills that you need to be single oh, come on and this i i like yeah i i brought some uh you got a great recipe that i i want to show you you're you gonna know, cook for us again the last time you cooked well, don't i have to it was not, it's mandatory now when it you is, come it's on it's, it's a richard lewis recipe it's just, it's yeah, hey, 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 come over here Good. You would uh, never guess that the ladies in his life read like the who's who of beautiful women. Please welcome a ladies' man, Jim Staff. I wouldn't, uh, you know, I guess that's not a good term, ladies' man, but uh, you, you've, you're sort of, uh, I know the girls, they, they really, there's something about you that they, they find attractive. Uh, we did a little digging. You've been dating some very imp impressive lists, I guess, of... Uh, of women you've gone out with? I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who's on your list. Uh -huh. Well, let's see. There's uh, Margaret Thatcher. Um, <laughs> Oh, no, Margaret Trudeau. I'm sorry, I misread no. that. Uh, no, I've, I've never dated Margaret Thatcher. No. Uh, <laughs> and I did a uh, Hollywood Squares with uh, Margaret Trudeau years ago in, uh, in uh, Las Vegas. And uh, we had a, a drink after the show. And we so, did. There wasn't too much to that. No, not too much no, to no, that. I one. got some, uh, the, some, some of the folks from Canada in the press called and asked me about it. I wish I had a better story for them. So, so, so just you have a, uh, an innocent drink and right away people are talking. Okay. Now, do you have another one? Maybe we'll get out uh, here. Beverly Sassoon? Uh, Beverly Sassoon? Yeah, Beverly Sassoon. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I dated uh, uh, Beverly Sassoon. Oh, we're getting closer. Yeah, yeah, it's like the dated... contrary hearings here. Yeah, I know. I feel like one of these, you know, yes, I, I am a lovely woman. Very just a wonderful yeah. Yeah, woman. Mm -hmm. And we dated for a very short time. I saw Beverly Sassoon. A couple very, of drinks and... Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Hollywood Squares in Vegas with her. <laughs> now, Bobby Gentry, any, anything? Uh, well, we married. Oh. Yeah, so, so we, we were into dating and, and heavy petting and just about everything. And, uh, we have a little boy, as a matter of fact, uh, named uh, Tyler. Tyler? An eight-year-old old boy. Uh, eight? Eight year old, eight, eight year old. years old. Now is it? Uh, yeah, we do. And uh, what was that? Oh, that, yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy, Tyler. Yeah. Bobby and I are no Can longer you? married. She wouldn't. Uh, she wouldn't tell me what they threw off that bridge. And, uh, <laughs> that's it, huh? That was it. That drove me crazy. <laughs> but um, now, wait. What's it like being a bachelor father? Is it uh, easy? Uh, well, I I like it. I I like it. I uh, I love my boy, and I spend a lot of time with him an awful lot of time and uh and your children when you do that if you're a single parent uh they it's a it's a curious thing because because uh my boy's kind of protective and and uh, and i he's met me at the door before when i've come in with with a date you know and he says things like uh is she gonna spend the night <laughs> and, uh, I have to get him off and I have to excuse me and get him off into a corner and say, "Listen, this is very important to Papa." <laughs> so be, be cool. Yeah, yeah. Now just be cool and, and let let this pass. It'll be okay. But Papa needs to play too. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> does, he's does, been cool. Yeah. Does he pick him out? Does he scrutinize? Uh, Dad, that was a nice one. Or well, you know what I've I've done with my boy, and I and I think it's the right thing. I to tell you the truth, I've always been. A pretty shy person and uh, a lot of it I think is because I worked so hard on my music it's not a very social thing to know how to do is to, to practice a guitar and so I I missed a lot of the, the time when the, uh, other boys were dating and so what I've always done with with my boy ever since his infancy is uh, if we were in an airport or a shopping mall or anything if I saw somebody especially some other people with children, I'd walk over and introduce her. We would introduce, I'd introduce my son, and and, and I've always tried to pr promote a, a social 
social way of living. There's no profit in, in being shy. And, uh, and so uh, uh, when he was uh, five, we, we were at a restaurant eating, and he asked the waitress. Uh, first he asked her her name, and she told him. And then he asked for her number. <laughs> and, and she laughed it off and went and told the other girls. And they were all laughing in the back. And my boy was getting a little uh, upset about that. And she came back and he says, I don't think you, you realize. I'm serious. This is a five-year-old. And he got her number. <laughs> and I, and I, <laughs> I said, son, what are you going to do with this girl? He says, I'm going to do like you do, movies, a date, <laughs> maybe dinner. Now, it's your music. Your music, I would imagine, girls would be, that would be kind of a turn on to women. Well, I don't know. I, I have some, uh, I have a couple of little short songs uh, that I could do for well, you. Well, so you, you got your guitar yeah. back there. So these are just little pieces. This first one is about uh, an activity that happens between men and women. Well, the first time I met Dixie was in the parking lot in Denver. I was sitting in my pickup all alone. She walked out of a bar, took one look at my truck, and asked me if I'd like to take her home. She said she had a new place, but we went to her old place cause she said there's something she forgot to do. One hug and one kiss later, she unplugged her refrigerator. That's when I knew I was helping Dixie move. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and this is this is m more about uh, uh, not, not dating as much, but uh, uh, after a divorce. It's a, uh, I would call this a positive song about what could be a neg negative subject. <laughs> he's plain and he's simple as any man I ever saw. He has a yearning to be my new husband-in-law. He's courting, cavorting, my favorite ex-wife. He's taking the worry right out of my life. The kids say he's boring, but nice as can be, and he may not be just right for her, but he's perfect for me. Great song. We gotta cut away for a minute. We're coming right back. Don't go away. We'll be